Suppose I want to plot y equals minus 4x plus 5. The best way to do this, as always, is to pick three or four coordinates, 0, 1, 2 and 3, which I'll write into a table, and then to find the corresponding y coordinate for each of these x coordinates, being very careful with the signs. This is where the errors will occur, the minus 4x. So, if x equals 0, y equals minus 4 lots of 0 plus 5. Well, anything times 0 is 0, so add 5, we're going to get 5. When x is 1, y equals minus 4 lots of 1 plus 5. Five. Well, minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. Add 5, you get to plus 1. And we'll do 2 as well. y equals minus 4 times 2 plus 5. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. Plus 5 is minus 3. And if you kept on going, you'd get a minus 7 here. Now, observations. When x is 0, y is 5. This number here in the equation always gives you the value of y when x is 0. Another observation. We go down by 4 each time. This comes from the minus 4 in the equation there. We now plot these coordinates x is 0, y is 5. x is 1, y is 1. x is 2, y is minus 3. x is 3, y is minus 7. We then draw a line through those points and that is the line y equals minus 4x plus 5. A couple of observations again. This value here is called the y-intercept. It is always given by the number we add or subtract in the equation. And gradient. For every one across we go, we go down four. Across one, down four. Across one, down 4. This has got a gradient of minus 4. And the gradient is always given by the number before the x, the coefficient in the equation. So again, this number here is always the y-intercept. The coefficient or number before x is always the gradient.